Dogs Trust has 17 rehoming centres across the UK and cares for over 16,000 stray and unwanted dogs every year. In Leeds, eight puppies and their mother were recently found abandoned and have been handed in. The puppies were found in the local woods by um, two members of the public who brought them to us. Um, Robin, the mother, was found tied to a tree and the box of her puppies were um, found next to her. Um, it was a very wet, horrible, dirty cardboard box, so the puppies were soaking, um, quite muddy and dirty when they came in. So we just gave them a little bit of a clean-up, um, some tea because they were starving, um, and gave Robin lots of love, as I think she'd been very neglected. At one point, it was touch and go for the puppies when they became seriously ill with sickness and diarrhoea. Anna and her colleagues had to care for them round the clock to nurture them back to health. To help with the process of getting better, we had to syringe feed them and making sure that they were keeping the food down and keeping a diary of who had diarrhoea and who was sort of vomiting and things like that. So between us, there were three of us that nurse them on a daily basis and we would check to see any improvement over the days and we did a really good job and now they're all fit and healthy to go home. Puppies like these are easy to rehome. All eight already have new owners and will be leaving Dogs Trust over the next few days. But their mother, Robin, is still waiting for that special someone to give her a new home. Meanwhile, behaviour trainer Darren is arriving back from Bradford with three more abandoned dogs. Bev is a seven-year-old German Shepherd Cross. Rev is a five-month-old Jack Russell Cross puppy. And then there's Kev, a two-year-old Shih Tzu with fur so badly matted he can hardly see out of his left eye. If I hadn't have picked these three dogs up this afternoon, there would be a very good chance that, that they would have been euthanised, unfortunately. But obviously, once we bring them back here, they're safe. And then we will look to find them as good a home as we can get for them. So, yeah, it's very satisfying. The three dogs were named Kev, Bev and Rev at the Stray Kennels. As they were all picked up off the street without collars, nobody knows their real names. Darren visits the stray kennels twice a week and has the impossible task of choosing which dogs to bring back because he can't save them all. What we're looking for is so that nice, nice approach to a stranger, of which I will be when I go there, so we want that nice friendly approach from the dog. We also want a dog that's going to be quite responsive to a stranger as well. So will it take food from me? Will it take food through the bars, the, the, the kennel bars? So we're looking for that type of dog and also sociable around other dogs as well. Darren is confident that Kev, Bev and Rev will make great family pets. But before they can be put up for adoption, they all need to be checked over by the Dogs Trust vet. And for Kev, the Shih Tzu, it could be a matter of urgency. Coming up in the next episode, how do you choose a puppy out of a litter like this? Choosing one was very difficult. They're all absolutely beautiful, but he just had a, a circle of white around his nose that like a little polo, and he just stood out. And what could be causing Kev's sore eyes? Oh, Lord. You have got severely gungy eyes, Kev. Oh.